Hello Wedge Shavers! Welcome to this Oak Thing project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. And what you see in front of you is a 1940s style Gillette Super Speed. And as you can see, this thing has been used and abused. I mean, it has definitely seen better days. It's got the plating coming off in certain places, it's uh, corroding and oxidizing here at the bottom of the TTO handle. The action has got soap scum caked onto it, so it's kind of hard to open and close. The safety bar, one of them is slightly bent, so that means that it opens just slightly asymmetrically. And inside of it, you can see we have some debris of unknown origin. So that's the condition that it's in right now. So I'm going to send this razor to Chris Spencer over at Backroads Gold. And he is going to take it, take it apart, clean it, refinish it, and replate it. I think I'm actually going to have him replate it in rhodium. I don't have any rhodium plated vintage razors at the moment. So we're going to go from this to this. Three weeks and $60 later, all brass parts, completely refinished, in palladium actually. It turns out Chris was out of rhodium. So we settled for palladium, but just look at this. This is a complete transformation of this razor. I mean, especially the top of the TTO doors, those were scratched pretty deep in some places. And as you can see, there's not a spot on it. The action is, I wouldn't say sticky, but I might need to put some mineral oil in there to uh, to smoothen it up a little bit. But this, the, the TTO door is open perfectly symmetrically. It is just beautiful. Inside and out. Just look at that. Isn't that incredible? For $60, this is what you get. You turn something like what you just saw into the most beautiful shaving tool you've ever seen. And I love these uh, 40 style uh, super speeds. I just can't get over how good the top of the TTO doors look. I mean, there's not a scratch on that. It was really, really bad. And now it's almost perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at what the unboxing looks like for this razor. Okay, when you get your razor back from Backroads Gold, it comes in a padded envelope that looks exactly like this. So let's unbox it. My unboxing knife for today is gonna to be my Benchmade Pagan which has been sitting around in my EDC collection, collecting some dust. So we're going to use it today. So here we go. Let's open it up. Now when the box comes out of the envelope, it looks exactly like this. I already unsealed it, but I have not opened the box yet. So let's open it. see it comes with some black tissue paper and it looks like we have some Shannon soaps barbershop sample shaving soap we have a uh, certificate of authenticity as you can see there what does it say here 1940 super speed replated with palladium 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 I'm not sure how you say it I call it palladium Gillette Silver Blues, and here is the razor. So let's open it up. Oh, wow. That is pretty incredible looking. That looks like a brand new razor, like from the day it got rolled off the factory from Gillette. So let's open it up. Oh, that is smooth. TTO doors are smooth. They open up absolutely perfectly. I might put some mineral oil in the action just to uh, slick in the works up a little bit, but this is really impressive. I love these 1940 Super Speeds, so we're gonna have to do a shave with it here at some point soon on the Soap Thing project. But there you have it, that's Backroads Gold for you. They do an excellent job of uh, 
refinishing and replating these vintage Gillettes. So if you have a razor that you want to have some TLC, you might consider sending it to Backroads Gold. So that'll be the unboxing for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.